we integrate this function uh, it looks a bit different to what we're used to because we've got this term a but it, we know it's constant so we're going to treat it as a constant during our integration so for question one part a we are integrating now first thing we need to remember is that this can be written as 36 x to the minus 2 plus ax and then we're integrating with respect to x and that's actually your first mark there writing that as x to the minus 2. So when we're integrating we are adding one onto the power and dividing by the new power. So adding one onto the power there is going to be minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 and dividing by the new power so 3x to the power of minus 1 divided by minus 1 and the a we know is a constant so we are adding one onto the power of x there divided by the new power so ax squared divide by the new power. And this is indefinite integration because we haven't got any limits. Just want to make sure we also have our plus C. Don't lose any marks in core two, but in core three and core four, you will lose marks. So that's a that's a legitimate solution there. That's worth three marks. If I want to tidy it up a little bit, I might write it as minus 36 X to the minus one plus a half AX squared plus C or something similar to that. So that's worth three marks. Now for part B, we've got quite a lot of work to do here for our two marks. We are told that the, the thing we've just integrated, when we sub in the limits three and one, that is equal to 16. So this is gonna be how we're going to find our value of A. So we're going to write, in fact, before I do this, I'm just gonna write this as minus 36 over X plus a over 2 x squared and now we've become definite integration so I'm going to drop the plus c just make that look less like a 9 and more like an a minus there. so we're now subbing in our limits 1 and 3 and when we do that we're supposed to be getting 16 so let's just give myself a bit more room here and start my substitution so it's minus 36 over 3 plus a over 2, 3 squared. So A over 2 times by 3 squared. And from that I'm subtracting minus 36 over 1 plus A over 2, 1 squared. So 30, minus 36 over 3 is minus 12 and plus 9A over 2. And from that, sorry, I'll put my bracket in too early. From that, I'm subtracting minus 36 over 1, which is minus 36, plus a over 2. Now, a lot of students made mistakes at this point here. So let's just take our time to expand that second bracket. So minus 12 plus 9 over, 9a over 2, plus 36, minus a over 2 because it's minus times by that plus and I've forgotten to say so far but all of that is equal to 16 so I've got 36 minus 12 which is 24 and 9 a over 2 minus a over 2 so plus 8 a over 2 equals 16 now from here subtract the 24 from both sides just give ourselves a bit more room again 8 a over 2 equals 16 minus 24 minus 8 times by the 2 a a is minus 16 divide by the 8 uh, by the 8 and a equals minus 2 and that's our solution there now as i say that is quite a lot for two marks just show all what we've done there but we've done our, we've already done the integration part in part a and we are substituting in our limits and working through our algebra to get our final value of a